Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video. In this video, I will make the open pickups and implement the ability to uh, swap weapons and change weapons. First of all, we need to um, uh, import the uh, import some weapon uh, SKTL mesh. Uh, we have here in the Epic uh, Store there is a free. Uh, uh, free assets called uh, FPS FPS weapon bundle this one is in the free uh, permanently free co uh, assets now that we have added our the weapons here we have good collection of weapons but they are without animations but current we will make our animations later on uh, now to start with we need to make we need to make our uh, blueprints for the weapons here we go to the blueprints make a new folder call it weapons let's open it here we make a new blueprint class uh, it should be uh, an actor type it's called bp underscore weapon and open this weapon uh, class we add a skeletal mesh I'll make it the default root scene uh, and that's it we do not need other uh, components uh, here we will look for the weapon uh, the uh, first one I will add is the AR we I use the X uh, the X meaning is the front X is, is the X uh, X this is the first weapon uh, for the collision we do not need collision right now leave it I uh, was uh, no collision and also we don't we do not need to simulate physics let's close this weapon and go to our uh, character let's look for the for the mesh where is our mesh here uh, here we need to add a socket for the weapon uh, first uh, let's add a preview animation let's look for the rifle iron sight Idle rifle iron sights and here pause the animation and g get it back to the zero frame now look for the right hand and uh, add socket here I will call it AR uh, underscore sorry socket and also uh, make another one for the uh, AK or for the other open that you want to add let's call it AK socket here in the AR uh, let's add a preview asset we look for our uh, skeletal mesh for the open sorry AR uh, we use the X yeah, AR underscore X now let's rotate the socket and adjust the position
let me just decrease the speed for the camera now we adjust the location of the weapon socket now we need to get it slightly to the right side and slightly up also we need to rotate let's decrease the rotation here and I think that's it this is good let's save also uh, here let me remove remove all attached assets and go for the AK socket and add the AK or I think they, are co they call it KA yes KA 47X also also rotate the socket change the position and slightly downward Okay, this socket, uh, I mean this animation is better suited for the AR, but we'll try to fix the position. I think this is enough. Can't uh, make it more better because we need to modify the animation but this uh, because it is a third person shooter uh, this will not be so obvious so let's save uh, also remove all attached assets now let's go back to our weapon here we need a bunch of variables uh, we need the socket socket name uh, to make things organized I'll use data, ta data tables let me show you how, how we use it first let's go to miscellaneous and look for data table so first we need to make a structure let me let's make a new folder here Let's call it weapon data. Open the folder and uh, look for go to the blueprint and here look for structure. Uh, let's call it st underscore weapon data. Uh, uh, what is the structure? Well, the structure is a like a container uh, for uh, multiple variables. Instead of uh, putting these variables as a blueprint here and make a huge mess, so we add them here in this structure. Like I said, it's a container for multiple variables. Here in this structure, uh, what I need uh, the data. For the weapon, what do we need? We need the skeletal mesh and we need the socket to spawn the unattached weapon to. Also, we need the ammo, the clip ammo and the total ammo. Also, we will need the an shooting animations and the, uh, the FX, the FX like the muzzle flash. Also, or the uh, bullet uh, casing or shell casing uh, effect so to start we'll start with the skeletal mesh 
skeletal mesh here. And let's call it a uh, gun mesh. And also, like I said, we need uh, another variable, float variable. Let's call it clip ammo. Or uh, for the ammo, I lose integer better because you know, integer uh, the uh, ammo doesn't we do not have like half a bullet. We only have some rounded numbers. So let's call it this clip ammo. The second one, the total ammo. We also need uh, another two variables. One is for the max clip ammo, and the other one for the max total ammo. Or we do not need them. Sorry. Okay, let's change these to max, max clip ammo and max total ammo because we will set the uh, ammo and the open blueprint on begin the play. Uh, also, we need uh, float for the damage. Also, we need uh, animation, animation sequence, and then sequence. This one for the shooting animation. Shooting animation. Also, we need the uh, uh, two Niagara FX. Or system Niagara mm. where is it system one for the muzzle muzzle flash and the other one let me delete it and add it again the other one for the uh, shell casing FX here also add the FX uh, I think uh, we also need two, two variables uh, name uh, one for the uh, weapon socket and the other one for the muzzle Weapon socket. The other one for the muzzle socket. Uh, I use the duct tables to make uh, things organized because I do not want to have a lot of blueprint. And uh, when I need to change something, uh, I start digging in a huge mess of blueprints. So we will have some one organized table to have the all the data of our blueprint. Now let's go back to our open data folder. Let's add the uh, let's go to the miscellaneous and data table. We choose our structure that we just made, which is open data. Click OK. Now we have the data table. Let's call it weapon. I will call it weapon types because I will uh, we will use it to make multiple weapons, and I will show you how to make it. Just before we uh, open the data table, we need an enum enumeration. Go to blueprint enumeration. Uh, an enum. Uh, it's a list of names uh, these names will we will use in the data table 
to specify the weapons that we will make. Let's call it en weapon names. Let's open it. Uh, I will add uh, two uh, enum or two items. One for the AK, AK forty-seven, and the other for the AR. Now, uh, let's go back to uh, the let's close this structure. Go back to the data table. Here, uh, add a row, and let's name this one. Uh, this is important. The name here should be exactly the same as the enum. So I will copy it to avoid any mistakes. It should be exactly the same to be able to be utilized. Here, double click and paste the first one. And let's make another one. Uh, this one we called AR in capital. Now we have two uh, rows in the data table for the two weapons that we want to make. Uh, let me uh, add some uh, content here. Let's use the AK. Sorry, KA. KA underscore K47 underscore X. The max clip ammo. Let's make it 30. The total ammo make it 120 damage mm, maybe 15 shooting animation and the fx we will later make them for the weapon socket let's go back to our skeletal mesh let me let me close these we do not need them right now let's go back to our skeletal mesh and look for the sockets that we made this one one the ak socket Copy it and paste it here. And the other one, and the muzzle. Let's find out. Let's open the AK mesh and take this muzzle. We press F2 and copy the muzzle and paste it here. Here in the muzzle socket. Now we have, we have finished with the AK now, let's go to the AR Here also add AR underscore X Sorry AR4 X This one The max clip ammo 30 The max total ammo is make it 180 Because it uses smaller bullet 5.56 And the damage uh, will be 10 also, I think we forget something. Uh, forgot the rate of fire. We will add it to the structure. The open socket. Let's go to the soldier mesh. Copy this AR socket and paste it here in the open socket. Also, let me close this. I do not need them now. Uh, go back to the data table. Uh, we open the AR mesh and also copy the socket. put it here now let's uh, go back to our structure and add the rate of fire I will close also this enum we do not need it now we added our two weapons we open data let's add the another float call it rate of fire Rate of fire or fire rate, you name it as you like. Here for the AR, maybe 0.15, and for the AK, we'll make it slower 0.2. Sorry, 0.2. Now Let's go back to our blueprint weapon and here in the construction script 
poi eh, look for get row get row uh, sorry uh, I think the get data table data table row get data table row here we choose our data table the open type here for the names we use our enum that we just made here add a variable call it weapons names our open name and look for the for our enum en underscore weapon names and drag it here get the weapon name also uh, which uh, we find, uh, we'll change it to a string to a string oh yeah, enum to string here now let me show you now here uh, sorry uh, here we want to set our uh, structure let's call it uh, weapon data now uh, we need to set the skeletal mesh of the weapon here set skeletal mesh asset break the structure and connect the mesh you see here if we change this to AR now it's changing now we can change the weapon here and in, in the enum by using the enum instead of making multiple blueprints and also for this enum we make it instance editable so that uh, we can change it in the editor also we make it expose on spawn because we, when we spawn the weapons we need to choose the weapons that we are spawning also here let's make uh, two variables sorry uh, one is called current clip ammo change this type to integer duplicate it and make it current total ammo uh, the uh, we need these uh, variables here because the data and the uh, and the structure cannot be changed so we only use the, these data that we set we cannot change them so when we fire the weapon we need the ammo to change so we use this at the beginning at beginning play i will not uh, set here in the structure i will set it here in the beginning play let me close this i mean delete this here in the beginning play we set the clip ammo and the total ammo we set them to the max values let's get the structure and break the open data this clip ammo here and total ammo connected to here now we are finished with our uh, first uh, um, blueprint for the weapon blueprint now uh, we uh, make the pickup blueprint the open pickup go here make a new folder we will make the uh, same procedure we will make a data table for it and an enum and a structure let's call it open pickup 
let's open it make our blueprint also it's an actor bp underscore open sorry pick up also let's make a structure for the weapon st weapon pick up data also here we need an enum uh, let's call it en open pick up names here also we need two one for the ak ak underscore pickup and the other one for the ar ar underscore pickup let me close this and also close this for the weapon data the uh, i mean open pickup data we need first we need a static mesh static mesh here let's call it uh, pickup mesh uh, i think we do not need anything else uh, if we need anything we will add it here uh, later but now we do not need anything uh, let's close it and add a data table out here we can pick up data dt underscore weapon pick up data Else, uh, uh, we need to add an integer here. Let's go back to our uh, weapon pickup data. Add an integer. This integer will represent the uh, ammo you pick up when you just pass over the weapon pickup. And do not, if you do not uh, pick it up, uh, you only pass over it, and you have the same weapon as the pickup. You will. Uh, only take ammo let's call it ammo uh, what ammo only or ammo ammo to pick up and now let's open the data, data table for uh, the pick up add the first one is the let's copy it I don't want to miss any letter now for the AK and the other one the AR AR and AK now close the enum we do not need it here in the uh, pickup the AK we look for the KA KA47 static mesh add it here and what to pick up let's make it 30 here for the AR also AR4 also the Open uh, the ammo to pick up, make it start. Let's close these, would not need them. And go to the blueprint, the open pick up blueprint. Here we add a static mesh. Static mesh. 
for the static mesh we wanted to simulate physics uh, let, me, let me just add uh, one for reference AR4 we wanted to simulate physics and to ensure that it simulates physics uh, we need to open the uh, skill static mesh and make sure it has a collision well it has a collision let me just show collision or add auto convex now it has a collision also look for the collision i wanted to well it's a physical actor would not need to change anything uh, also for the here let's go to the ka press apply and make sure it has a collision because if it doesn't have a collision it will not uh, simulate physics now we close this uh, table we do as we did before in the open get data table row we choose our open pickup also here we uh, like uh, we did before we look for our uh, enum open pickup names this one and to change it to name instead of change it to string then string change it to name uh, here uh, we call it open names uh, pick up names here also promote to a variable and call it pick up data Here we get our static mesh set static mesh break the structure and add the mesh here. Now we need to make it instance editable and expose on spawn. Me change it. Well, it's not changing. Let's see why. I think we need to make it first to string, then enum to string, then to a name. Huh. Okay. Now you see it's changing. Let's test. Now they are simulating physics. Well, we'll see if I step on them, they will collide with me and sometimes I do uh, get thrown away. So let's change uh, the collision and make it custom. Then uh, we wanted to ignore the pawn. Also, uh, we do not need to generate overlap events. And uh, I think this is enough. Now we need. Uh, Now we need uh, a collision uh, sphere to detect if the component is uh, or the actor is overlapping with the open pickup. Let's make it 50 and move it to the center of the <coughs> weapon. Uh, 
go to this view and change the collision we only need it to overlap with the make it custom ignore all I want it only to overlap with the point so <coughs> now let's go back to uh, our player here uh, let's uh, try to detect the uh, pickup by add event to the capsule on component begin overlap or on actor begin overlap here on actor and and overlap uh, here uh, we need to check if the actor uh, if we have the right actor by getting the tag branch the tag I will call it weapon pick up and let's copy this tag and add it here in the class defaults look for tag here in the advanced and tags add and paste the tag here so when we overlap with an actor that has this tag we will trigger this uh, code here behind this boolean now we need a we need information from this uh, actor uh, and this information sorry and let us uh, first check print string let's check if uh, our code is right let's go out here overlapped and here end overlap or just end now let's overlapped and end overlap end now <coughs> sorry now uh, like I said we need uh, a reference from the pickup which is we need the weapon type and we need the open to, open to spawn we need this uh, pickup data uh, what we need from it like I said is this open to spawn how do we get this uh, from the uh, blueprint we, can, we have two options we either make a cast uh, either cast uh, to the weapon pickup or we have we make an interface well casting is like loading the whole blueprint here and this blueprint in our player blueprint which is not efficient if you have a big game and if you are looking for performance you should avoid using a lot of casting so let's try it here cast to BP weapon pickup here we have this object reference we use this other actor here but like I said I will not use the casting because it is uh, it will become heavy and uh, we do some performance so I will use the interface 
you know, the interface is a way of communication between blueprints let's make a new folder here called interfaces like I said it is a way of communication between blueprints and you can send uh, certain data certain variables or you do not need to load the whole blueprint so if you have a big blueprint and you want something from it you do not have to load it all by making casting you only get the reference that you need here let's make uh, our interface go to the blueprint blueprint interface int let's call it get weapon to spawn here get weapon to spawn here you can add more functions uh, which is like interfaces more interfaces here you can add and you to use them in uh, the actor that is using the interface implementing here we need two output uh, one output uh, which is the weapon weapon to spawn we look for our enum Open names. Now uh, let's close it. We do not need it. And also close this one. Go to the to our pickup and go to the class settings. And here under implemented interfaces, add uh, get open to spawn because we uh, made it uh, that it has some output we need to uh, implement the output here double click here on the interface now we should get the uh, enum from our pickup data like here break the open pickup data and connect this variable now we have uh, the weapon to spawn and we can send it to any uh, blueprint that you want and we will use it here so uh, first uh, we need to make a boolean let's call it can pick up weapon let's add a question mark and put it here make it true and here make it false well we can add, add this check here let's let me add it to make sure that it is becoming false only when we end overlap with the pickup now here we need the interface that we used how do we get the interface yeah, uh, we type the name of the interface get open to spawn here we get the message sometimes you get multiple uh, names for the same interface but what we need is the one that has this message with it we need an actor uh, target reference here the other actor is our reference which specifies the overlapped actor and here promote this to a variable let's get this variable duplicated and no we do not need it do not need it now let's uh, add the input for our uh, interact button i already made it here you make 
input action and make it a digital bool type then go to the uh, mapping context and add it, it uh, choose the uh, button that you need for me I chose the F button and added two triggers pressed and released the triggers uh, will make sure that the when you press the button it will trigger only once and when you release the button it will trigger only once also so let's go back to our blueprint let's comment on this get weapon pick up data here let's uh, implement our interact control interact let's add here a boolean and check to make sure the, open is the button is pressed and like I said we use this boolean can pick up weapon here check if we are overlapping with the weapon pickup here uh, let's I'll make a function call it spawn weapon look for uh, spawn actor form class our class that we uh, use is the weapon BP weapon the spawn transform will be the actor transform the same of the player transform and the weapon name will get it here from the weapon to spawn here the collision and make it always uh, spawn ignore collision here let's promote this to a variable call it equipped weapon equipped weapon because we need this reference then we need to attach this weapon to the hands of our character so we get a reference for the mesh and attach actor to component so the target is the weapon now the weapon will be attached to the mesh to our mesh and then we specify a socket name the location rule and rotation all the change them to snap to target and the scale for the socket name we get it from the weapon data break weapon socket this one And then after we complete this is this branch after we completely attach the weapon then we destroy the uh, equip the weapon pickup but first we need a reference for it here let's promote this to a variable call it weapon pickup here let's set it here behind the boolean let me just organize 
and here when, when we end overlap let's set it to be let's clear it here or set it to be empty so that we do not uh, stack uh, the, that we do not uh, keep the variable because we do, not, we do not need it when we do not overlap so we clear it to avoid some performance hit now for the spawn weapon here we get the weapon pickup and destroy actor now let's go back to our controls here and add spawn weapon now let's try let's play now let me go I'm overlapping with the weapon and press F now it's attached now it's attached to my hands and now I'm pressing F8 to get out of the character here let me also press F here now I have two weapons attached to their sockets I think this is enough for today for this video and the next video will uh, implement the uh, weapon swapping and dropping weapons changing weapons and uh, we'll complete our uh, tutorial and maybe we will have some good third person shooter game please like and subscribe if you like my content and thank you for watching goodbye